Hello and welcome to another update video about Medic. So Medic unfortunately broke out of this triangle to the downside. It looked good yesterday. It looked good. Um, but what I have to tell you, so yesterday obviously from the um, from the move up here, yeah, we formed a triangle in the last few days. Then we had here this triangle that you can see here, which was formed obviously, and the breakout point here but a retest was never successful. And therefore I always tell you, wait for a retest. It looked like a breakout, but without a successful retest, we smashed back down. And whenever a retest fails, then oftentimes you go into the other direction. That is what we can currently see. Nothing that is not part of the current scenario is happening here, yeah? But what it probably is not, it's probably not anymore a triangle. Well, it could, still be a triangle yeah triangles are very hard to forecast they can always extend it cannot be however this wave count of the triangle the a wave can still be here the b wave can still be there if this is a triangle this is the c wave but we are currently trying to break below wave a and then it will not be a triangle then the triangle is invalidated i think we're going to break below it below the 80 cent yeah so it's very unlikely it's still a triangle but that's still at the moment an option until we break below the wave a low i think we're just doing that now i mean we're holding it at the moment but if you break below the low of the wave a which was here around let me just double check that so below 79.6 cents which the way this is currently looking like is probably happening if we break below that you know until then this can be a wave c then we move up in a d come down in an e and then break out to the upside but you'll be already at, yeah, it's broken. Okay, no triangle anymore. <laughs> okay, but then this is still all currently within the scope of um, what a wave four can do, all right? So at the moment, I still have to assume we are in a wave four. Um, not a triangle though anymore. This could, for example, now form maybe a descending wedge. How that will in eventually look like, I don't know. But as long as we stay in the green box here, this can be a way for all right and if we take a look at that from a retracement point of view this is the area between the um there you go let me just max that out let me adjust that a little bit okay so we shrink that area a little bit okay so that is the area between the 38.2 percent fib level and the 23.6 percent fib level yeah um so it can now without a problem go to the 38.2 percent fib level that's um 76.8 cents that is anyway the most likely retracement level in a way for so it's absolutely not a problem to come to that level we will need to be a little bit on the lookout um and it's a bit of a warning sign if we come down to the 50 percent fib level that would be 70 cents Still, it could be a way four until we break below 70. So if we ma if we make this area larger, this is where you would normally see a way four. Yeah, so next target would now be the 76.8 cent level, the 38.2% FIP level. If we drop below that, 70 cents. That's the 50% FIP level. Okay, so going below that though, would put that scenario here into question then we need to look at something different. It could then just be another one too, which again would not be great. Yeah, it would slow everything down, would show the chart as rather weak. Uh, and then we have the same situation that we had already down here, where we also had, um, it's, it was looking really good, a one, two, a one. A, and until here it looked like a one, two, three. And then we came down, yeah, unfortunately. Um, so this could happen again, unfortunately. For now, it's still looking okay. Yeah, no reason to panic at the moment. But should we go below 70 cents, then it's not a way for anymore. Or at least it will be very unlikely. The real invalidation point will be if we go below 60, what is that? 63 and a half cents, that would be the wave one high here. But normally a wave four should not go below the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, all right? So yeah, currently, especially as we broke the previous swing low, we can expect a little bit lower prices. I just told you the key support levels for that. Anywhere in here, I would primarily still expect the reversal to the upside. 
and a good or probably best indication you get that we are breaking out would be a breakout above this descending trend line, all right? So this is one way of sort of, you never know, but a good indication that this wave four downtrend is over because the wave four is just a corrective wave. Uh, in the end, what Matic is doing, if you zoom out, it's holding really well. It's just consolidating at the moment. That's what it's doing at the moment. This can always change, but um, for now, it's just following the current scenario. How the mini waves within these scenarios play out is extremely hard to forecast. Yeah, I mean, it could have yesterday, yeah, it looked really as if we were breaking out of the triangle, but obviously retest failed. Therefore, always wait for retest. And how this volatility is playing out within such a scenario is extremely hard to forecast. Therefore, I often say the subwaves are very fragile. And um, as long as we stay in the scenario, it's all good. I would still expect the wave five to the upside. Yeah, here into the region between, let's say 98 and $1.12. So 98 cents and $1.12. After that, I would expect another wave four down here in red and then a wave five up. And only after that, I would expect actually a larger correction down. So this is still the plan. We're currently only following the plan. So for now, no reason to change the wave count here. So hopefully you like the update about Matic. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.